and Mia's gonna join us uh, here at the desk, which is every musician's dream. The uh -huh. desk at the Artie Lang Show. That means you've arrived. Uh, Mia, this is my co-host, John. John, we met uh, yes. yeah. a little really earlier. A pleasure. Now, you are from Australia. I am. Okay. I'm so excited to be on your show. Are you really wanting I to really that? am. This is like, you know, another world to me <laughs> from being from Australia. Yeah. I mean, did you like New York? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Like an Aussie country girl getting to play the Artie Lang show in New York City. <laughs> I love it. It'll get better. You'll, you'll get better, Gabe. <laughs> what, 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 did you, do you still live in Australia? Well, I, I kind of spend half my time there, half my time here. It's a lot of travel, man. It's it 20, is. 20, what, 23 hour, 22 hour flight we're talking? Yeah. It's like 14 hours to L.A. and then a stopover and then another layover. six or seven to do here. Do you try to uh, work it out where you got a couple of days in L.A. to spend at least, or you're always like... You know, this trip, I just came straight here. Wow. Woke up, we rehearsed. This this band, we've only just started playing together after a nine-month break. I was going to say, yeah. I mean, and you know, here we are. are the whole band from Australia? They're actually not. See, I've... I've, I've... I was talking to the guys. Yeah, I didn't hear an accent there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. What's up, guys? Like, <laughs> get it together. They've lost it already. I know. No, I know. They're, they're just, the, just the trying, to, trying to keep up with you. They're just pretending the worst <laughs> stereotype stuff. Yeah. Did you throw hand... another shrimp on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you get to handpick these guys when, when you decided to come to uh, the U.S. to do this? Well, I, I handpicked Sid on the drums there. Nice. And then he handpicked... Uh, Dylan and Lee. I mean, we we all sort of you know pick on each other. Right. Well, yeah. you have to. I would uh -huh. assume if you're on the road, that's yeah, insane. Absolutely. You gotta you gotta bust each other's chops. But now, so when did you? I mean, you know, you you start in Australia. Yeah. And what what makes you get into music? And, and you're playing like not just a beautiful voice. You write all the songs lyrically. I do. And, and I music. do. And you play slide guitar. I mean, when does this start? How does it start? Well, my dad is a guitar maker, and I was actually playing one of his he guitars. He makes guitars. He makes guitars. Oh, cool. And you know, when I was little, he was playing me, you know, the band and Little Feet and. Bruce Springsteen, you know, the whole right. works, the Americana, you know, That's funny, thing. My, and I just... my father makes, my, used to make parole sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but that, so, so he would play classic rock yeah, to you Yeah, and he kid. taught me that, how to play that, guitar. It's just and... good parenting. Yeah, it, it really is, is, isn't it? Yeah, You know, encouraging kids to go into the creative fields. But at some point, he had to notice you had a talent for this, a God-given thing, uh, you know. He was, he was very encouraging my whole life. You know, before I was 18, he would drive me to the gig and escort me because you can't be in clubs before right. you're 18. Right, right, right. You know, oh, well, uh, it's 21 here, isn't it? And now you started playing clubs in Australia? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, then festivals and then making records and then touring, you know, with I got to tour with Eric Clapton and oh my Bonnie Raitt yeah. and oh my Stevie God. Nicks. And uh, the, the daughter of a guitar maker from <laughs> from Australia. From whoop whoop. And, 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 and you, what, you toured with Stevie Ray Vaughan? No, no, Stevie Nicks and say, Eric Clapton. No, I was going to say, how are you? you look, oh, I was you too must young. Have been two, two years old when you toured with Stevie yeah, Ray Vaughan. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Stevie Ray Vaughan fan. What's Clapton like? He, he is, um, he didn't actually. Say hello. We, 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 we passed in the hallway once. Oh, okay. But he was he was sweet. Did you open for him? I did. Okay. Through a national tour. Was in, it a solo the... thing you were doing? No, I had, I had my band. And... No, oh, oh. He was doing a solo. No, he had like a massive band. He had um, Derek Trucks, oh, that incredible wow. guitarist. From the Almonds. The Almonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Doyle Bramhall II. Right. Um, cool. You know, these incredible backing singers, keyboard players. The worst. That must say a lot for you because uh, the people who go to see Eric Clapton live in concert are... People who appreciate great guitar playing Absolutely. and good music, and, you, and you're going to be in front of that same audience. That's a feather in your cap. Oh, you know? it was a huge honor. Yeah. And it was a thrill, total now, thrill. Now, do you have a place in the states? I do. I'm living in LA, right? Um, Redondo Beach now. There you go. Yeah, nice. better than Torrance. I, I lived well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shot a movie in the summer of '98. Me and uh, David Spade. Oh well, yeah. Well, we we shot a movie in Hermosa Redondo in Manhattan Beach mostly, and I lived in Hermosa Beach. What do you think? For of a this? full summer, I was just my God, the most laid back, especially being a guy who actually has a job making money. You're like a king there. There's so many beach bums just rolling around. But I, lo I loved it. I loved it. I, yeah. I didn't want to leave at the end. You know? It's a pretty sweet lifestyle out right. there with the weather and everything. It's kinda... I say this to every band that comes in here, but you seem shy every time I say this. You're a musician. We just did a gig last right. night here. We sang like a Rolling Stone yeah. by a Dylan. I oh, mean, sweet. He, but but he gets shy around musicians. Oh, I do. I mean, I'm in awe. You know, you, you guys really. I the sound that they have. Yeah. It's just like. It's I mean, you can tell. I mean, your voice. It's kind of like Bonnie Raitt, Janis Joplin. Like you can tell you listened to Bonnie Raitt uh, growing up. 
and it's just you got that perfect amount of break to it. Right. Well, you how about Janis Joplin too? That's that's it's a good comparison. Yeah. I. And, but then you add in. I I've always said like if someone's a lead singer and they play lead guitar and rhythm, you know, if they're the only guitarist in the band, they're a badass. Right. And and she just does it like like it's nothing. And then of course the rest <laughs> of the guys. Just amazing well, yeah, virtuoso. Not, not being a musician, yeah, yeah, there's one uh, lead guitar, there's a bass, uh, the organ, and the drum. So you, everybody's got to be good at what they yeah, do. Yeah, you got to hold up. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, and, all these whip flashings yeah. for them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're they're amazing. And and you know like the rhythm section, the bass and the drums. A lot of times, you know, you'll have the bass just boom, 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 and, right. and the you know four four drummer just going at you know. The, the simple Well, you're approach. really into this. 4-4 four, four drummer going <laughs> Where this guy, this guy... What the hell are you talking about? This guy's all over the place, right. and everything's a little bit unconventional, which I really like. So you have that classic feel to it, but then you've got your own twist, and it's just, it's exciting. It's exciting. No, it music. is. I, I, Thank I, I, you. What's it like being uh, in, in the record business as a, you know, an attractive woman who's talented and, uh, you know, uh, the other, you meet a lot of dirtbag executives? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know what? I've never had a record deal, and I've been independent and you know oh, successful really? that way. And I kind of—I've been blessed. Oh, well, good for you. Good <laughs> I've been you. loving it. It's been you know. At first, of course, I thought you know I was 18. I thought you know someone's going to discover me, and that's right. what's going to happen. And it didn't happen. And you know, at the time, I was like disappointed. But actually, it's been a huge blessing. And oh, great! You know, I've had this fantastic. Indie career and you know, I, the yeah, opportunity well, you to play get with to meet like with, this. you get to yeah. work with guys. You Not know, dirtbags over there. Uh, at no, all. no, yeah. of course. Well, these aren't the exact. These are <laughs> these are creative types. You're right, right. But they can be dirtbags too. I met a lot of creative <laughs> dirtbags. But uh, you know, because when I get very protective when I see a woman like yourself in the record business or show business at all, I just think of I just think of Fontaine and Les Misérables. <laughs> you know, I just think of you like with the guitar and at the end of the at the end of the day you're another day oh, nah. <laughs> Artie's been Artie's been throwing out the Les Miserables references. I saw it. Me and my girlfriend were shacked. Yeah, I love up. it. Me and my girlfriend were shacked up in a Philly hotel this last weekend, and uh, she puts Les Miserables on at three in the morning, and I hear her crying. Oh. And I get up and I'm like, oh, what are we watching? And I start watching. I'm going, oh, this is for bozos. And I'm, of course, I'm crying like a baby. And they're like, <laughs> oh, is Cosette okay? Is Cosette gonna be okay? What are they doing? They're whipping. What's they're whipping Cosette. Happen? Yeah, hey, so, I got. Uh, I, I'm, I can't mo relate. I'm moving on from the Les Miserables thing just because <laughs> I, I want to. <laughs> I want to. You and your NFL home. I know. I want to address this. I I really feel like you know. I saw that that you were really into like the grunge sound way back when. That's what you listened to. Right. And right. of course that that hits right around when I was really digging on music and right. starting to try to play myself. But uh, why is it? It just seems like Australia has an awesome rock. Sound or something it like used a to lot be a of prison. great bands. It used to be a prison. Right. I think that's it. That's no, right. Really. The convict blood. <laughs> yeah. We are so desperate. The you know, we're so far away from the rest of the world. We're so dress desperate to be heard that we just make a loud. And you do it when you are heard. Like... It is like you know, hey, hey ACDC. Yeah. Get the power cord out. Like we're here. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, I Some mean, people don't realize that they're Australian. A lot of people think it's Scottish. They have yeah. Scottish roots, but they're the right. they're the thunder down under, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. I mean, going way back, like Midnight Oil and yeah. Men at Work, and then of course, like more modern. Like I love Wolf Mother, and uh -huh. I, I don't know what happened to Wolf them. Mother. Uh, I think they become became one single wolf. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the lead guy, like he was. They became Wolf's grandmother. Anyway. They got all. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> They had, a, they had their bassist was playing keyboard and he would sling his bass onto the back and he had and a then, little keyboard in front of him. That's I, a good point. Australian bands really are. They are in your face. Like, you say midnight all like, how do we sleep when the world is bad? It's you know that he's music. a politician now. He is? Yeah, he's in, right. in the parliament. He's up there in the Labour Party, which is our sort of Democrat. Right, Labour Party. Yeah. Are you closer to Melbourne or uh, Sydney? I'm in Melbourne. You're I'm in Melbourne. Melbourne. The music city. Right. It's like... Well, I have. I gotta yeah. tell you, I, I respect you guys because you're tougher down there. And people don't realize <laughs> this: the English colonized Australia, like they did everything for a while, like <laughs> jerk offs, and they uh, they made it a prison. They made all the right. nu the nutty people from the English Empire who yeah. were too bad for the regular prison. They sent to Australia, and they made it, and they it became just a bunch of lunatics. Yeah, there. you know, I'm descendant 
from a descended from a, a a guy who stole a fob watch. You know, one of those little watches yeah. on a chain. Right, yeah, it got yeah. shipped out to Australia. Yeah. And they put wow. you all down there with where there's big sharks and, oh. and bears and spiders, I, uh, no, snakes. I know. Oh my god, I saw a thing. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I've, on I've Discovery been all, Channel. I've been all over the world. Australia is the one place I've never been. And and I, uh, you know, I saw a thing where uh, about the Australian bush spider, whatever it was. It was like it was like uh, it could jump twenty feet. No. It was extremely aggressive towards humans, and if it bit you, you had like twenty minutes to get to the hospital. So basically, if you saw one, you're you're, you're, you're screwed. dead. Yeah. You're screwed yeah. if you saw. You may as well just lie down. And I said, what am I? Why, why would I go? You guys are just tough, and these alligator hunters and crocodile hunters, and yeah. well, I have a lot of respect. You're better men than I. The women are better oh. men than I am. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Is is uh, Van Diemen's Land? Is that in Australia? I mean, the... yeah, that's the the original name for Tasmania, which is the little oh, okay. island off the bottom. Tasmania. Yeah. It's awesome. It just song. sounds nuts. You two. Like yeah. Tasmania just the sounds edge. nuts. <laughs> yeah, right. So does Van Diemen's Land, though. Yeah. Same place, though. Just, okay. uh, just a beautiful song on Rattle and Hum. But that's, right. the, uh, right. that's the other thing, the juxtaposition, if I may be so bold as to say that uh, word. Um, uh, is how beautiful it is there. Like, the, with all these crazy nuts that had to go down there, and then it's the most gorgeous sure. place on the, on the planet Earth. Right, like, there's beautiful beaches with the crystal waters, but you can't swim because there's, like, blue bottles and right. jellyfish and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, sharks! The most sharks. deadly, yeah, the great white population off the Great Barrier right. Reef will come and eat you. And but then, the secret is, like, 90% of it is so safe. And in the city, we're just like you guys here. Right. But, you know, we can pretend to be tough. It would be funny if sharks could actually go on land and like just walking around like oh yeah, but uh, ab aborigines like you know with the, the plates and the lips like that is just really that is unbelievable how they could do that. Did you know an aborigine was drafted this year in the NFL draft? Oh no kidding, Jesse Williams. Yeah, played for Alabama. Well, what nose what tackle. position? No nose, nose tackle. tackle. Yeah, he was a native uh, Australian, right? And never played football until uh, very late in his whatever, secondary school upbringing. He uh -huh. was a rugby player. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you, you and the band you love, this is such an authentic Australian experience. I'm going to take you out to the Outback Steakhouse. Uh. <laughs> You're going to love it. That's... It's like taking someone from Italy to the Olive Garden. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> so what do you got coming up? What's next? You got the, the Moment is the new album, right? Yeah, uh, album came out just this month. Okay. Like, and uh, we're on tour. We're going to Asbury Park Friday uh, night, Home playing at the Saint. Um, uh, that's, that's my territory. Yeah. I grew up going to Asbury. I, I yeah. heard this, yeah, so I wanted yeah, to mention yeah. it. And then playing uh, Rockwood Music Hall in New, New York City great. next Tuesday night, the 7th of May. Oh, that's great. And just we're doing a bunch of dates on the website, miadyson.com. MiaDyson.com, and uh, their tour and the new album again is The Moment, the songs you heard tonight when the moment comes, and feel yourself. Mia Dyson and the guys, uh, thanks so much. Come back, please, if you want to. Uh, We'd love and, to. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, thanks, you guys are great. Cheers. Good, much luck and much good fortune to you all, and we'll be back with the last uh, minutes of the Artie Lang Show.